Today we're going to discuss non-coincidental loads, heating and air conditioning. My name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. So what do we need? Very simple. An incoincidental load has everything to do with heating and air conditioning. What do we use? What is that? What does it even mean? Well, this is what we have to do. We have to think about what are we going to use that we will not be using at the same time? Heat and air conditioning. Article 22060 tells us that in coincidental loads basically states that whatever we determine to be the largest, that's what we use in our calculation. So let's see, depending on the part of the country you live in, heat may override your air conditioning. If you live down south, your air conditioning may be larger than your heat. Because you got to remember, we're not going to run heat and air conditioning at the same time. So let's not calculate for it. Anything that's related to heat, you're going to calculate. Anything related to air conditioning, you're going to calculate. Now, we're going to discuss electric heat. Now, if you have an electric heat furnace, the information that you're going to receive from the homeowner or the HVAC contractor, they're going to tell you what they're going to be installing. So that kind of takes a little bit of the guesswork out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this calculation on the board and we're going to do the math for this and we're going to figure out our non-incidental load, meaning that one is not going to be running when the other is running. AC compressor, 23 and a half amps at 240 volts, very common. An air handler, 17.2 amps at 120 volts. Now, in this aspect and in this case, we are not using the air, the air handler is strictly used for AC. The electric heat, we have six pieces at 1500 watts a piece. Now what we're going to do is simple Ohm's law. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through and we're going to calculate uh, 23.5 times 240, and we're going to get 5,640 watts. We're going to do the air handler. 17.2 amps times 120 is going to give us 2,040 watts. Are we done? No, because those two units together make up our AC, so we actually have to add those together. AC equals 7,704 watts. Now we have to do simple math. We have six units at 1,500 watts a piece. If we do the math, it gives us 9,000. So, if we're going to complete line 13, this is what we're going to come up with. We're going to come up with heat as our largest. Now let's cover largest motor and how we find it. Okay, now we're going to discuss largest motor. Largest motor is nothing more than us taking 25% of whatever our largest motor is in our calculation. So what we have to do is we have to refer back to fixed appliances. And the reason we have to go back to fixed appliances is because the calculation that we just did for heating and air conditioning, heat took over AC. So that means that our AC compressor cannot be calculated in this motor load. Remember, the key is if AC is not taken, if it's been omitted from the calculation, you cannot use it as the largest motor. It's very important you understand this. This is one of the hardest things students have understanding that you can't use the AC even though it is the largest motor. So what do we do? We're going to refer back to the same calculation we went and fixed appliances in our other video. And if you haven't seen that video, please check it out. 
So what's going to happen is now we have to go through and we have to determine which is our largest motor. Okay, so in our fixed appliances, our compactor was our largest motor. It was a three-quarter horsepower at 230 volts, which gives us a uh, 1,587 VA. What we have to do now is we have to take our largest load, the compactor load, and we have to multiply it by 0.25. So my question is, why 0.25? Here's, here's what we have to figure. Going through motors, Article 430, it is going to tell us that if we are adding multiple motors, which we have multiple motors in a dwelling, the largest motor needs to be calculated at 125%, and every motor after that needs to be taken at 100%. When we did the fixed appliances, we already took it at 100%. So this is what you need to understand. One of those motors, we need to just multiply by 25% to give us our largest motor calculation. And everything else has already been taken care of as 100. So what we have to do is, as we're working through and figuring out all our lines, we have to make sure that we fit in our largest motor and doing it this correctly. This is line 14. 1587 times 0.25 is going to give us 396 0.75 VA. This goes in line 14. And what this means is, now that we've calculated the largest, all, all the appliances in a dwelling, we've gone through and we figured in the fixed appliances, the trash compactor has been the largest, it is the largest motor. What we have to do now is multiply that by the 25% because remember, the first motor has to be the largest motor has to be taken at 125%. Every motor after that is taken at 100%. 396.75 will go in line 14. I hope this helped clarify AC versus heat and largest motor. In our next video, we're going to discuss how to put it all together. Do me a favor, if you like the video, please hit the button down below and like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Do me a favor, hit the little bell, and we'll keep you up to date on our new videos. Have a great day and be safe.